as part of the program, we interviewed uh, entrepreneurs across the Southwest and their biggest motivation for setting up and running a business was to make the world a better place, not the financial motivation. And with problems like climate change and other issues, it's those uh, R&D intensive businesses devising new solutions which can really help change the world. And if we're not uh, developing those businesses uh, in our area, we are failing to achieve what we potentially could. The deeper aspect of the challenge here, the confusion as to why this should be, is that we actually have really strong research assets in the area. Exeter University is a, um, a Russell Group University. Uh, Plymouth um, is a tier one member of the Maritime uh, Research uh, University Group. We have obviously the UK Hydrographic Office in Taunton. Their solutions are on 90%, 90% of the world ships trading internationally. We have the Met Office, which is one of only two world area forecasters globally, uh, along with the United States uh, uh, National Atmospheric and Oceanographic Administration. Um, we have the Plymouth Marine Laboratory, which is seen as compared to the labs in San Diego in California. And we have the Mayflower Autonomous Ship setting sail from Plymouth, uh, leading the way in artificial, artificial intelligence driven uh, autonomous shipping. So we have a collection of research assets which in their fields are truly world beating to use a, a phrase which gets overused uh, rather at the moment. And yet despite having that strength of uh, research assets, we are not delivering the commercialization of that innovation which should be potential.